Jonathan Cohen, CTO and co-founder Quantum Machines. How can we accelerate the, the realization of useful quantum computers? At Quantum Machines, this is our number one goal. And we believe that uh, we can do that by providing technology that makes it seamless to, uh, to bring out the best out of any quantum processor and device out there. So at Quantum Machines, we've developed um, game-changing technology that allows researchers and developers to uh, get more out of their quantum devices. And we often see uh, with our customers that our customers can sometimes literally achieve um, in minutes or hours what uh, previously required days, weeks, months, sometimes even years. Uh, so I'm Jonathan Cohen, I'm uh, one of the co-founders and, um, and the CTO of Quantum Machines, and today I want to tell you in just a few minutes uh, how we can do that. So, um, integrating software and hardware, our quantum orchestration platform, which is the platform that we've developed at Quantum Machines, uh, has three major components. First, we have uh, our um, extremely scalable uh, analog frontend uh, and modular analog frontend. So this is patented technology that allows us to provide hundreds of uh, control and measurement uh, channels that are synchronized down to the picosecond level. Second, we have QA, our programming language. Uh, this is the first of its kind programming language that uh, integrates classical processing into pulse-level quantum programming. So um, this is done in a unique way that opens the door to uh, a variety of new uh, algorithms, algorithms implementations, optimizations, quantum error correction uh, implementations, and, and many more. And third, we have uh, the hardware technology, which is the pulse processing unit. Um, so this is the first uh, fully-fledged uh, processor that's entirely dedicated for quantum control. Um, so the pulse processing units uh, can run, can execute in real time this quantum classical uh, program that you run in QA. Um, and uh, it does it um, with extreme uh, real-time performance to, uh, to get the best performance out of the underlying quantum hardware. Uh, and again, to open up the, uh, the, the, the door to all these uh, new algorithms and uh, optimizations. So uh, importantly, uh, as I said, scalability is key. So uh, the pulse processing unit can, uh, they all can, uh, many pulse processing units can connect together to form a network, sort of a giant pulse processing unit that uh, then can run QA programs seamlessly uh, on the largest quantum processing, uh, or the largest quantum processing units out there. So when all of this is combined together, the quantum session platform allows uh, researchers and engineers to interact with their quantum hardware uh, in a much more productive uh, manner, um, and at the same time extract the best performance out of the underlying hardware. And this is both the quantum hardware and the classical hardware that's connected to it. Beyond all of this, uh, we recently expanded uh, our offering uh, significantly with the recent acquisition of QDevil, a world leader in quantum electronics. So uh, we now offer a variety of products from millikelvin temperatures to room temperatures. Um, um, so we offer uh, the uh, world uh, highest resolution and lowest noise uh, DC source, uh, the, uh, the, the QDAC, uh, as well as uh, cryogenic filters, the Q filter, and Q <coughs> carriers, cryogenic QBG carriers, uh, like the Q board, the Q cage, and, and other products. So Quantum Machines was founded by, uh, by, by scientists. So we understand the challenges of, uh, of uh, researchers and um, we are very proud to have uh, more than 30 physicists and, 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 and PhDs on our team. We are a team of uh, over 130 people right now. And we are very, very proud to have more than 200 customers around the world that keep uh, producing uh, scientific breakthroughs every day. So one good example for how the quantum decision platform uh, allows such incredible demonstrations is from uh, Professor Oscar Painter's uh, lab at Caltech where they recently published a paper demonstrating uh, a scalable quantum simulator, a superconducting quantum simulator with long-range connectivity. Um, and another great example for, uh, uh, for, for the use of the quantum accession platform comes from the Professor uh, Andrew Durax uh, uh, lab at UNSW, where uh, they demonstrated uh, two qubit randomized benchmarking running with extreme runtime uh, run times uh, using the quantum orchestration platform uh, over in this experiment a lot of real-time processing and real-time feedback uh, embedded with the quantum programming is done to, to achieve this experiment. So I hope that uh, I've managed to give you a little bit of a feeling of what, what we do with quantum machines, who we are and what we're all about and um, I'd like to invite you to visit us in uh, booth number five and uh, to uh, come join our uh, tutorial on Tuesday um, and our panels on Wednesday and Thursday and hear about how uh, researchers uh, do great things with the platform for its practical quantum computing. Thank you.